What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Female truck driver. Yes, sir. She says she is tired of seeing them trucker headsets. In this clip, this young lady, well, actually two young lady truckers. This one in particular is just saying that she's tired of seeing them all. And the other young lady that's going to get into another clip, she just says, who made it the designated truck driver headset? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I ain't trying to step on nobody's toes. Don't, so don't come for me. Don't come for me. But I'm tired of seeing y'all with them damn trucker headsets. And I mean like everybody on TikTok got them. All my truckers on TikTok got them. Even y'all who ain't on TikTok got them. And it's so annoying just seeing them shit. And I mean, like, y'all just act like y'all can't invest into regular headphones. You're not going to get in trouble if you don't got them ugly ass things on your head. You know that, right? Y'all do everything in those shits. I mean. We get it. You a truck driver. We get it. Damn near everybody's a motherfucking truck driver at this point. It ain't even nothing special. We get it. You can never catch me wearing no shit like that. But you will catch me rolling down the motherfucking road like this. These do the same shit. And they look better. They do the same shit. I can talk with them. I can do TikTok with them too. Mm -hmm. I hear good with them too. I go through weight scales and deal, get pulled up by DLT with them too. What is You lucky. <laughs> you lucky driver <laughs> listen let me tell you something uh drivers i i when i first came out in the industry when i was a rookie yep yep my trainer the first one and second one for that matter told me yo go ahead grab you some trucker headsets you're gonna need them shits i was like uh why well because you know it's illegal to be in a CMV with your phone in your hand, i.e. up to your ear while you driving, you know, the truck. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Let me go ahead and um spend a, spend a couple of hundred. Now, the first pair that I got was, uh, I don't know, about 50, 60 bucks. It was cheap, but they hurt. They hurt. The earpiece hurt. Like, you couldn't be comfortable with them shits on all day, man. And I, at that point, I said, well, let me go ahead and invest in some comfortable headsets. So the second pair of headsets that I got was the one with the double ear cuff. I got those. I, I said, man, let me go ahead and get this. But of course, everybody, you know, was telling me, hey, make sure you don't get caught with them shits on. I said, okay, okay, why not? Because you can't have both ears closed up. You know, you won't be able to hear traffic. You won't be able to hear emergency vehicles. You won't be able to hear nothing. And then this point, what this young lady got on, of course, you know, it's kind of kind of illegal-ish, I guess. I mean, if you do get pulled over by DOT and they happen to see that on, you, you, you might get a ticket. But the kind that I had was the ones that you was able to take the one ear cuff off, you know. So one day I was up in Missouri. I was at the Love's truck stop and I, I got some mud flaps for the truck. I happened to took them off and I laid them up on the table. So me, my fast ass, got in the truck, got halfway down, maybe about another a uh, state or two. And then I decided to call the truck stop back. Well, not decide, but I called the truck stop back and I said, hey, bro. I said, I left my headset. Well, which one are you, guy? Well, I, I, I was the truck driver that was, in the, that was in the shop and I put my own mud flaps on. I said, can you go and look on the table? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. You can go and look on the table. No, they're not there. You lie. You lying. 
they are there because it was the last place where I left them at. Oh, well, maybe you took them with. No, <laughs> bro. You know what? It's an L. Thank you very much for, for whatever you did. So it was an L. And then ever since, I never got them back because this would this was the change for me for stop wearing them trucker headsets, right? So I was in Minnesota. I was at I was at a few places. I, I was at the casino and I was at the mall. Now here's what turned me off about the trucker headsets, right? So I'm in a mall, I'm walking around, having fun, you know, just chilling and everything and all like that. And then I see not one, not two, not three, but five. Five of you guys walking around with those big old headsets on. And I mean, y'all had the big ones. The, the what, What's those? The clear drives? I do not understand the point of having them big ass headsets on your head. Now, maybe when you driving, yeah, but the ear cuff is so damn big, it covers your whole ear. And I don't understand how you get in the way with that one. Okay. I'm just saying, don't come after me. Okay. But y'all walking around the mall with them on and don't make no sense. Like, like driver, get out of the truck and then enjoy yourself. Don't take the truck with you. When you got them headsets on, you taking the truck with you, man. Oh my God, I got on the phone with uh with one of my female friends, female truckers, and she said she was on vacation at a beach or some shit like that. And she literally seen a dude with them headsets on. I said, you got to be kidding. She said, no, no. So every time I go around in the truck stops or in places that's not even truck related and I see somebody with them headsets on, I automatically know that you're a truck driver. You're nothing else but a truck driver. If, you, if you're not a truck driver, then you are a CMV driver. You drive some type of commercial vehicle. Sorry for the long rant. Let's get back at it. So special that y'all wear them damn things. But what's so special? Just tell me, just let me know why are they special to y'all. Then y'all bling them out. Talking about, oh yeah, I can customize your sense for this amount. I ain't know it was that damn hard to put some glue and some other rhinestones on some heads. But go on. Go on. So <laughs> this young lady started something. Everybody in her comment session came after this one. But we got one more. We got one more. Let's check this one out. You know what I would like to know? I would like to know who was the person that made this headset the designated headset for all tr truckers. This one screams, I'm a trucker. But why? Why do we have not have other options? Because everybody and their mama got this headset. Do you guys know that there are other options? And no, they ain't pay me to say this. Yes, there are other options. <laughs> there are other options, driver. It's, it's not the fact that, you know, that all truck drivers, all of you guys, all of you guys wear the trucker's headset. But you know there's little Bluetooth headsets that's small, inconspicuous. You got the, of course you got the the iBuds or the i iBuds or whatever the hell you call that. And then you got the, you know, and you got the wired one ear piece that goes in your ear. Simple. Simple. Drivers, tell me in the comments below which Headsets do you prefer? Do you prefer two cups or do you prefer the one cup? Or what's your favorite brand? Is it the Clear Drive by Ram and Nally? Is it the new Garmin 
ear, uh, is it the new Garmin headset or is it the tried and true Blue Perry headset? Let me know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. What you want, y'all?